Hey guys, welcome to the new chapter. This is podcast 7.1. We are heading into chapter 7, and this is the chapter on cell division, where we're going to be looking at, so it's D-I-V-I-S-I-O on cell division, where we're going to be looking at how cells grow and what processes they go through to the point where they split into two different cells. And the first thing we need to know is that cells are living Okay, cells are alive, they're growing, they're moving around, they're doing things, and that means that they grow through their life cycle. And the, uh, the big thing that pushes cell division, um, what we're going to end up seeing is that diffusion um, ratio that we see, the surface area to volume ratio. And so cells know it's time to divide when their surface area to volume ratio gets too high. Um, so when they've got a very, very large volume and a very small surface area, it's not very efficient anymore. So we're going to come back to that, and we're going to be talking about that a little bit more. So what I want to focus on for the rest of this uh, particular podcast, man, this is really big, not, a, not enough room. So we're going to zoom out on that once. Um, we're going to take a look at this diagram here that you've got in your notes. We're going to be labeling this up. So uh, make sure you've got some room to write. Um, and we're going to start right here at the very top. Okay, so this is going to be uh, number one. Okay, and we're going to call this the growth stage, or it's called the growth stage. And this is the first growth stage the cell goes through, and so this is the G1 growth stage. Okay, and all the cell's doing is it's just living. Its, uh, its DNA is in the nucleus, um, the mitochondria is respiring, you know, proteins are being made by the ribosomes, everything like that. So it's just kind of hanging out right here. Nothing terribly special is going on. The second step. Okay, let me change back to black. So I'm going to be changing colors a lot. Step two over here on the right, moving around. This is the S phase. And S stands for synthesis. And what happens is this is where the DNA doubles or duplicates. Okay, so the DNA inside the nucleus of the cell, um, it's going to double. All of the, all the strands of DNA, all those little tiny strings of DNA, are going to duplicate themselves. So now this cell has twice as much DNA as it normally has. Okay, uh, Moving around to the bottom now, we're in this bottom section, this is going to be number three. Go back to blue, this is the growth, some more growth, growth number two or the G2 phase. So we've got a G1 phase, a synthesis where it's duplicating its DNA about halfway through its life cycle. Then the third stage is growth, okay, G or the G2 phase. The really uh, important one, the one that we are interested in, I'll do this in green, okay, is this little wedge right here in the middle, and this is mitosis. And that's what podcast two is going to be about, looking at the steps of mitosis. So right now, all we're going to do is we're going to look at the different terms for those steps. And we're going to start in this middle pie chunk right here. Uh, let me pick a different color. We'll do this in pink. Uh, so all the mitosis steps are going to be in pink. So the first one is this entire middle chunk. Okay, so everything from the growth stage all the way around through growth, uh, the growth two stage, this is called interphase, I N T E R. H A S E. So this is when the cell is just kind of doing its thing. It's growing, it's it's metabolizing, it's eating, it's moving if it needs to, it's doing whatever it needs to do. Um, so this is normal cell life. When we get up through the growth two phase, G2, move into something called prophase, P-R-O P-H-A-S-C, and we're gonna go through what each of these steps looks like. I just want you to get them in the cycle. So prophase. The second one is metaphase, M-E-T-A-P-H-A-S-E, -E, metaphase. The third uh, is anaphase, A-N-A-P-H-A-S-E. The fourth is called telophase, T-E-L-O-P-H-A-S-E. -E. And then the last step here, this is called cytokinesis. Okay, C Y T O K I N E S I S. Okay, so cytokinesis. And so everything right here on this little side, this is mitosis. Okay, this is a very small chunk of time compared to the rest, of, compared to interphase. Okay, um, so we're going to be coming back to this in the next podcast. So the last thing I want to do is make, first of all, make sure you have this all written down. Uh, the last thing I would like to do is just give some, some general notes. 
Um, remember interface, this is just normal cell cycles. Okay, so it's metabolizing, um, it's moving, it's eating, it's producing sugars if it's a plant cell, it's um, respiring if it's just a, a living cell. Um, G1 phase, the only thing you need to know is that this is continuing, continuing immediately after uh, division, after AFTER division. Okay, so if you look at this, okay, we're moving around clockwise like this. Okay, so immediately after mitosis finishes right here, it goes back into the growth phase, G1 phase. Okay, so this just loops around and around. And really what this is doing is it's building or it's adding to the cytoplasm. Okay, remember the cytoplasm is kind of the goo, the liquidy stuff that fills the cell. The S phase, the really important thing is that this is the DNA duplication. Okay, this is where the DNA doubles, and it's really important to double, and we're going to talk about that with mitosis. The G2, we're kind of going back, uh, we're adding more cytoplasm. And the organelles are starting to shift a little bit, but we're going to, uh, again, we'll come back to this a little bit more specifically in the mitosis section. And then for mitosis, this is the cell division itself. So our cell is going to go from being one very large cell to two smaller daughter cells is what they're called. Um, so this, again, is just a general look at the cycle. Okay, looking at this diagram, we're going to be focusing in this area over here on the mitosis portion of it. So we're going to get very, very used to these terms. And we're going to start lumping interphases all kind of one big cycle. But really, it's, a, it's split up between the G1, the S, and the G2 phase. Um, so again, make sure this is down in your notes, and we'll be talking about this a lot more in class.